Welcome, my friends, to Windows Server 2016 and the 70-740 exam, your starting point to the MCSA 2016 certification. My name is Garth Schulte. I'll be your host. Thanks for joining me and us here at CBT Nuggets as we begin an epic journey through every single objective in the 70-740 exam. Like any good adventure, we're going to begin our journey in this nugget by consulting our map so you can get an idea of the recommended path through this MCSA certification and potentially beyond into the MCSE certification. From there, we'll drill down into the 70-740 exam so you can get a good idea of what to expect from the exam and the technologies we'll be learning about in this course. And finally, no adventure is complete without a primary tool, right? Ours is going to be the virtual lab, which will give you the ability to follow along with me and get hands-on with every single technology in this course. Let's get started. The Server 2016 Microsoft Certified Solutions Associate Certification, or MCSA for short, consists of three exams, 740, 741, and 742. The natural starting point for Server 2016 MCSA begins right here with 70-740, and this just happens to be where you are right here, right now with me. And there you are. Hi there. This exam covers installation, storage, and compute, and it does a good job of staying focused in these areas and providing you with a good foundation of all the core features in Windows. Once you've conquered 740, the next natural step is to move on to 741, which is the networking exam. This exam is entirely focused on networking and already available here at CBT Nuggets, delivered by my man, Keith Barker. Once you've beat up 741, you can move on to the final exam for the MCSA, and that is the 742, which is identity, focused entirely on Active Directory. This course is also available here at CBT Nuggets and covered by my buddy, Anthony Sequera. Once you've passed all three of these exams, you will officially be a Microsoft Certified Solution Associate on Windows Server 2016, and you'll get rewarded with a fancy badge on your Microsoft transcript. Now, one thing I want to point out is I really like how Microsoft laid out the Server 2016 MCSA exams. They're all very focused on specific areas. If you're around for Server 2012's MCSA, then you'll know that it was a big mishmash across all three exams with a lot of crossover and each one built on the previous one, so you really needed to take them in order. These you don't necessarily need to take in order, but it still helps. I also really like how they redesigned the Microsoft Certified Solutions Expert certification. In the past, they were separate paths, which required multiple exams, and they were fairly difficult to acquire. Now, all you need to do to get your MCSE is first have your MCSA, and then take a single exam out of their list of electives. All you need to do is, once you've acquired your MCSA, you just take a single exam from this list of electives, and by the way, this list will grow over time. This is the current list, and then you will be granted the MCSE for Cloud Platform and Infrastructure. Another really cool thing they did here was ensure that our certifications never expire. Our transcript now becomes this history embedded into time forever. Here's an example. Let's say it's 2017, and we got our MCSA. This will show up as MCSA for Server 2016. And then let's say we took one of these and passed it. Let's take Azure here. Let's say that we passed 533. That'll show up on our resume for this year as an MCSE. And then we'll never be able to take that elective again. When 2018 comes around, we now have the opportunity to take another elective. And this, this doesn't mean we lose our existing one. That's, again, it's on our transcript forever. But this will then add the MCSE to our transcript for 2018. So what this shows is that over time, we've kept current with technology. Let's talk about 70-740. This is going to be our primary focus from here on out. Again, this covers installation, storage, and compute and has objectives spread across six primary areas. The first one here covers installation. We're going to learn how to install Server 2016 and the various installation options. We'll look at server with the desktop experience, server core, and even the new nano server deployment option. We'll even look at how to create images to dramatically speed up deployment of our operating systems. The next section is focused on storage solutions, how to configure local storage, disks and volumes and file systems, and then it moves into server storage, utilizing storage spaces and the new storage replica feature. We'll also look in this section at data deduplication. Next up, we have a huge section on Hyper-V and virtualization. So we'll take a big look here how to install and configure Hyper-V, configure virtual machines, storage, and networking. Next up is the smallest section for 70-740 and also a brand new feature here in Server 2016, containers. So we'll break down what containers are and then we'll stand up a container host and learn how to deploy and manage both Windows and Hyper-V containers. And that brings us to our biggest section, implementing high availability. 
This section is loaded with goodness. And I'll tell you, I had a lot of fun making it, and I went nuts with the labs because I think it's important. This is some of the most valuable stuff you'll learn in Windows, and it mainly consists of failover clustering, but it also covers our brand new storage spaces direct feature and NLB, network load balancing. Our final section here is all about maintaining and monitoring server environments, and this really consists of three things. Patch management with WSUS, that's Windows Server Update Services. Backup and restore using Windows Server Backup, targeting some of the most common workloads you'll see in our environments, like Hyper-V and Active Directory and file servers and web servers. And then monitoring our installations with Performance Monitor and many of the other various tools that we can use to monitor our environments. My first bit of advice is as soon as you're done with this nugget, head over to the 70-740 exam page. Check out the skills measured. That's where all of these exist. Expand these sections and start getting familiar with the objectives. It can also help to make a big list of all these objectives. Once you're done initially studying for 740, you can revisit that list and remove anything that you're 100% confident in. What will remain are your weak areas. And you can use your final phase of studying to strengthen those areas. Also notice these percentages here, specifically Hyper-V and high availability. Hit these sections hard because together they take up 50 to 60% of the exam. And I left no stone unturned in either of those sections. So we will certainly hit them hard in the nuggets and in the virtual lab. Speaking of virtual labs, we're going to be spending a lot of time together getting hands-on playing with every single feature in 740, including many of the new features in Server 2016. Every single nugget in this course has its own virtual lab, which is why we call them nugget level virtual labs. And it's helpful to have multiple monitors so you can watch and follow along on one and do the lab on another. And my advice would be as soon as you land in a nugget, launch the virtual lab on the right hand side of the page because it'll take about a minute or two to fully fire up. It's also worth mentioning that every single Server 2016 machine in our lab is running Data Center Edition. There are some advanced features and especially some of the newer features that are only available in Data Center Edition. We're also going to be using Windows 10 Enterprise Edition to act as our client and our remote administration machine. You'll also notice as you progress through the course that our labs are going to get a little more complex and real world like. We'll start off with just one or two machines and we'll be directly on these servers configuring them. Towards the end of the course, you will be remotely administering networks of machines. So once again, welcome to Server 2016 and 70-740. Prepare yourself for an epic adventure and I'll see you on the other side. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.